Hi everyone, I'm Madison Rowland. I'm the Regional Director of Performance Improvement for the Mississippi Market with Baptist Memorial Healthcare. Today I have the absolute privilege of visiting with Julie Simmons, who is a master Kata coach, a leader, and a true asset to the Kata community. So welcome Julie and thank you for joining me. Oh gosh, Madison, you're so welcome. Thank you for such a kind introduction. You're very welcome. So throughout our kind of journey at Baptist Memorial, I noticed that we continue to struggle with the concept of obstacles. And because of this, we've decided to put together a few short videos that will hopefully provide clarity to this topic. So Julie, my question for you today is what is the first thing you want us to know about obstacles? Hmm, So a good question, Madison. First, I think that we should acknowledge that there are two kinds of obstacles, perceived and actual. Perceived obstacles are the real problems or issues we've run into, but that's been in the past. We call them perceived because we don't know if they're still part of today's reality. If you're working with your learner and they say, this will never work because, or maybe they say the system doesn't work that way, or leadership won't support it, or our favorite, we've tried that before and the frontline workers won't buy into it. Those are perceived obstacles versus actual obstacles. These are the ones we run smack into as we strive towards a target condition. They're the thing that prevents us from putting a piece of our target condition in place. We can see them and we can name them. An actual obstacle is something like the PPE is not available in order to prevent the spread of the virus pretty real in today's time. That target condition is our sole focus and we only want to see what's in our way at that time, so we only go after actual obstacles. That is excellent, Julie. Thank you for sharing that insight. I hope this quick discussion has provided some clarity for you on the topic of obstacles. So be on the lookout for our next video where we will continue this discussion. But in the meantime, please stay safe, keep moving forward, and kata on.